Nightline continues from New York City with Terry Moran. This rising star may not have won American Idol, but his career has only skyrocketed since finishing his runner-up. He's flamboyant, he's unapologetic, his fans are supremely devoted, and his recently released album, For Your Entertainment, debuted near the top of the Billboard charts. But what artists influenced him? Adam Lambert tells us in tonight's playlist. I just remember the first time being on stage in front of a bunch of people and being nervous but getting such a thrill out of the applause and the attention. <laughs> and I think I was hooked from there on out. Yeah, the Bob Marley record. I remember distinctly being out in the summer by the pool, like during like middle school, high school, and my parents would like blend up some margaritas or have some beer or something and chips and salsa and Bob Marley and was floating out in the pool. So now if I'm like in vacation mode, I have to listen to Bob Marley. <laughs> it's always been a huge influence on me. I remember early on my dad pulling out the Diamond Dogs album. I think I was probably about 12. My dad would play the, the, the title track and it, it was spooky. It was creepy. My little brother and I would be sitting on the couch and my dad would play it and my little brother would get really freaked out. Like the howling and everything, it would scare him. And I thought that was kind of cool that my dad was able to scare my brother with a record. If you can freak someone out and bring that kind of emotion out of somebody with a song, you're doing something right. When I was a kid, I remember playing Vogue by Madonna over and over and over again. You know, it's something about the beat was really cool, and Madonna, you know, visually was, was on TV all the time, and I thought she was just so beautiful. And I remember the, the spoken word section in the middle with all the, the Hollywood starlets and stars. I didn't know who half those people were. And so I would hear these names and I'd be like, who is that? You know, she said like Greta Garbo, Anne Monroe. I thought she was saying Anne Monroe. I don't know who Anne Monroe is, but at the time I thought that's who that was. So a lot of the names I got wrong and, and as an adult, I went back and looked at it and went, oh, that's what she was saying. I see. Uh, it's supposed to me something equals a lurking from the dark. I think when I first saw Thriller, I heard the song, I loved the song, and then I saw the video for it. I thought that was like the coolest thing in the world. And so when I saw Michael Jackson as a zombie, I just thought, that's it. That's what I want to do. I was obsessed with Halloween as a kid. The Halloween costume box was downstairs and out all year round. I was always playing dress up. I even practiced that zombie makeup in front of the mirror a couple times. I got these books from the library on how to do theatrical makeup. And I was like laying sheets of Kleenex over my face while I was listening to Thriller and creating these like these scars and shapes. And it was kind of a mess, you know? That was my childhood. So, kind of weird. <laughs> I think it's a Depeche Mode song. Yeah, a Depeche Mode song called Pain That I'm Used To. It was on one of their more recent albums and Goldfrapp did a remix of it that's so trippy. I remember um, upon breaking up with my, with my first love, I remember listening to that song a lot because I think I really wanted to try to get used to the pain that I was feeling and like learn how to live with it. Lady Gaga's great and is changing pop music and, and bringing back a certain rock and roll spirit swagger to the game. This new song, Speechless, I think is just great. It's great because I think it's a departure from what we're used to hearing from her. And I think it, it, it's definitely, it, it's like a throwback vibe. It's like Carole King, Elton John, very like 70s singer-songwriter, which I think is a good look on her because we hear all this like really contemporary dance music coming from her. So shows her range. Yeah. 